I've been searching in my memory and I can't remember any precise moment. But he used to live, he had a house in the country uh, near to my home, near Newbury. And we met socially, just our sort of friendship grew over the years. I always remember he came and stayed at my house in France and he made in one of his books on a blank page the most beautiful drawing of rooftops going out into the distance. It was a drawing as good as a Hockney drawing, which is the best in the world. I mean, having that ability and after a long plain journey, sitting down and drawing so beautifully, I think was something that I shall always remember and was typical of Norman's huge attention to detail. One of the things I um, most admire in his office is the model making side of it. Let's look at that building from every direction in a model and it helps make architectural decisions. Very important quality that I know Norman has always found absolutely important, but he has a passion for it. I can see him in his old age making geometric models. Remember once he took me up in a helicopter to look at the city of London and talk about the planning of um, the city and showed me um, where he thought tall buildings could be built. So he was very concerned with the planning of the city. And of course, he has played a major part in it. Our government doesn't seem to understand the importance of fine design and fine architecture, that it has to be, has has to be built on um, the achievements and work by people like Norman. He has been so brilliant. He has inspired many young architects to try and compete with him. Nobody's achieved this so far. I mean, he is the world's most famous architect. Above all, he's an absolutely lovely man. He's made the world a better place. <laughs>